Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. Today we are back here again with another beginner's guide, this time to Gran Turismo Sport. Now, I really enjoy this game. Uh, it's probably the closest thing you're going to get to like an iRacing on console. And I, I just really enjoy this game for what it is. It's a very much a sim racer. And when I say this, I don't mean to put anybody down or anything like that. But if you're someone who likes to play racing games just to like kind of screw around and have make like crashes and have like sort of like just a fun time screwing around and stuff this game probably isn't for you and i don't mean that in like a gatekeepy way i mean you will not like this game it's not for you it's not made for that really and it, it won't be that fun if you buy it so i would not recommend this game if you're more of a casual racer but if you're somebody who really likes racing games i highly recommend this game because it's awesome it's a really good time i'm just kind of diving into it for the first time so this video is going to be a beginner's guide and just like a fairly pretty big beginner's guide here we're going to walk through the menu uh we might look a little bit at the gameplay and i'm just going to show you guys kind of how to get started here because there's a few tips and tricks that i've learned along the way that i wish i knew at the beginning so with that being said make sure you leave a like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel if you haven't and with that being said let's just look at some stuff here so this is a pretty intimidating men main menu i guess so First, let's look at the top right corner here. I got a little cursor so you can see it. Uh, we got our time in the top corner, your current car, and here is your money. Uh, we'll talk more about money later, but obviously you buy cars with that and other stuff. And then mileage points. Uh, you get like points for activity and stuff like that. And you can use that down here at the mileage exchange, which is basically a little shop for like special cars and colors and all that kind of stuff. We got some decals, helmets, profile poses, special colors. And then the safety car here, I might buy that actually because I, I do like that car. And you can see the hot items up here. So that is not the only shop, of course, but that's just for these special mileage points that you get uh, for activity and stuff. You can see your lifetime miles there, your level, your driver rating, and your sportsmanship rating there. Uh, you can see I'm a D driver rating. I'm not super good at this game. Uh, like I said, I'm just diving into it, but I do have a B sportsmanship rating, which is good. And one more thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is if you don't have PlayStation Plus, you're probably not going to like this game because it's mostly online. And if you don't have the capabilities to play online, uh, there's not a ton of content. There's some, but probably not as much as you'd like uh, for a single player game. So with that being said, let's take a look at some of the different modes here. I'm going to start with Scapes just because Scapes is uh, something that's really, really simple. Basically, it's just a photo mode. Uh, you can go to like different scenes and stuff and create some photos. I haven't dug too deep into this because it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Um, it, it's not really something that I'd spend a lot of time on, so I assume it's not something you will either. Here, uh, we have the lobbies, which are basically just like private rooms and stuff. Uh, this is more like if you've ever been on NASCAR Heat 5 online, it's kind of like that. Just like private lobbies and public lobbies and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you have friends, that's probably mostly when you're going to use that. Otherwise, like not for, if you have friends on the game. Uh, that's probably when you're going to use that, but here at Brand Central, uh, we'll click on this and just go into here really quick. Uh, this is where you purchase all your cars from. Um, as you can see, they're split up by nation, and then when you click on a nation, let's say we want to go to America, uh, you will get all these different manufacturers here, and you can click on any of them. Let's click on Chevy, and you will be able to see here uh, either a museum with old cars or a showroom and this is where you can buy your cars as you can see here uh, we'll take a look at these cars there's a little number down here by the bottom of it that says like N500 that's the class of vehicle so different races have different classes and so you're gonna want a good variety of cars obviously the higher ones are usually more valuable but they're all they're all just different for different stuff um, so there's a ton of cars in this game there's a lot that you can look at uh, if you want a car it's honestly in all honesty probably in the game uh, so make sure you spend a lot of time there just looking at some stuff that you want to see there 
uh, if we go over here this is your arcade this is where if you just want to sit down uh, and play like for example I had my girlfriend over yesterday and I just put her in a single race uh, because it's low stakes there's really nothing going on you can earn some money and stuff like that but you just click on that you know and then pick a track all this good stuff uh, different different like levels here so you can see I play this one a lot because I just like it it reminds me of NASCAR it's basically like Bristol uh, you can choose the time of day we're not actually gonna go into a race here but you can choose your car let's see we do this one here you can choose the color and automatic or manual and then uh, the race difficulty so you can see you get different uh, amounts of money depending on which difficulty you choose which is a nice little feature there uh, gives you something to work towards while you're playing arcade now uh, if you look over here uh, we have campaign I haven't played through a ton of the campaign uh, but as you can see here if it will load um it's basically just four different leagues here and different classes and stuff cool stuff uh, like you can see here if we go to the Sunday Cup this is the first one I did uh, it's all just different races at different tracks uh, pretty short races you can see the class right there so these are N400 races you're gonna need an N400 car to get in here uh, cert some of them have like certain specifications like maximum power and weight and uh, what kind of tires you're gonna be on for the race um, and other restrictions like that so this is kind of fun to get into however I will talk in a minute here about why I do not recommend uh, spending a ton of time in the campaign mode because it's essentially useless here so uh, you have driving school just tutorials and stuff you have some challenges here but this is what I really wanted to talk about is the circuit experience so it's basically just like a practice at each circus I or circuit I actually just discovered this today so I only did three here just three fairly simple ones but uh, it's different times in like sectors that you have to get through uh, in certain amount of times and it really does help you master the circuit so it'll help you improve a lot and the challenges are very very short and you earn a ton of money I only did seven here and I gained like three hundred thousand it took me like I don't know 30 minutes so highly recommend these uh, it'll help you learn the circuits and you make a ton of money off of it so definitely definitely recommend doing that now we get to what I consider to be the bread and butter the sport here so uh, you're gonna have to watch a racing etiquette video before you begin you'll have to make your profile and then you can enter into these races so right now uh, usually there are three things right here I don't know why those tutorials come up every time uh, but usually there are three things that come up right here uh, we have daily races and then in the middle you'll have the nation's cup and on the right you will have the manufacturers cup usually it's just one of those at a time uh, I believe a manufacturing cup starts soon because a nation cup just ended which what that is is you compete in these races uh, with different like manufactured cars or national cars and you can earn points for your nation or manufacturer and the winning team gets a bonus so I did America last time and we won so I got a pretty big bonus when I logged in today I believe I got like uh, 50,000 or something like that I'm not sure exactly but then right here uh, you're gonna have open it up you got three different options here uh, the one on the left is usually what you're gonna start with when you first start because it's just a one make race uh, so I, I believe it like loans you a car or they're just they're just a low level car so you'll probably have one sitting around if not you can buy one and over here we have the more high stakes ones with higher cars uh, as you can see I did this one today I raced two races in that one and they go off every like 30 or 20 minutes I believe every 20 minutes a new race starts usually for uh, most events 20 minutes is the time in there and while you're waiting you can do just some qualifying runs and then when the race starts obviously that'll happen and then we have some more to talk about I guess but we'll do that when we go into the actual gameplay so quickly let's take a look at my menu if you click here up on the top corner uh, you'll look at your menu it'll have your stats here so you can see my stats I haven't played that much like I said but um 
you can see my sportsmanship rating there is a B uh, my driver rating is a D because I haven't played very much but your campaign completion wow sorry I choked on that one uh, your driver level how far you've driven today and how far you've driven total how many cars you've purchased uh, your prize credits, your mileage points earned, your gallery, your custom liveries, which we'll get to in a second, and your photos taken. Um, so you can kind of see your achievements here if we go over uh, and the pictures you've taken. Um, so with that being said, we have one more part of the menu here to look at. So obviously we're at the home right now. Um, or this is your home right here uh, just looking at like what kind of cars you have your car setups your car liveries uh, all this kind of stuff all that kind of jazz that you're looking at there uh, I actually have not been there before I don't think which makes me sound kind of unqualified but I just assume this was the home so I guess you can go in there change your cars and all that stuff but um here we have the livery editor now this is very actually complex you can do car liveries uh, helmet liveries or suit liveries so you can you can do all kinds of cool stuff here uh, it's it's very detailed I'm not very good at it yet uh, but I'm working on it so uh, if you go in here, you can see you take a look at all your cars. Let's just click on let's say our Ferrari here and you can change your back room background or like your paint uh, Change this to the paint color. I don't know why I would want to change that so I'm actually not going to change that um, but you can change like you can add uh, decals or different wheels there or um, like like racing numbers all that kind of good stuff there so um just some good stuff there uh it's actually a pretty detailed livery editor when you get into it here um so yeah we're not going to save that because i didn't change anything uh, you can do the same with helmet and suit so you can see yourself in the car looking different and like in cutscenes and stuff so that's pretty cool i really like that uh, here you have your saved uh, replays, liveries, and photos. Uh, I already showed you the mileage exchange. And then the Discover tr tab is pretty cool. Uh, it's like a community creations type thing. And you can look down here. Let's take a look at some Sioux liveries because I always enjoy looking at these. See, look, like you can download these type of stuff. Uh, like just crazy stuff like a Dolphins thing. That takes some just super awesome skill to ha make and just just some really really cool stuff so i highly recommend checking these out because people do some just crazy stuff and it looks awesome on here so um we'll take a look at the car liveries too just just some really really nice stuff that we're looking at here um so i i definitely recommend going in there but for now what i'll do is i will take you quickly into a just quick arcade event and kind of show you what's going on and I want to talk a little bit about the rating system as well uh, because that's a very important feature of this game so let's say we're gonna go to Blue Moon Bay uh, this is one of the ones that I did today uh, you got little different track configurations here we're just gonna go with a classic uh, non mirrored we might as well go at dawn just for fun and let's take out the Roadster. Uh, I joined a league, uh, I believe two days ago, and they raced Roadsters, so I bought one, and we're just gonna get some practice in it here. Uh, we'll just go intermediate. I'm not even sure how to work the manual yet, so I'm just, of course, going automatic. I'll see you guys at the track. So if we go in here, uh, as you can see, you got four different camera views. I like to do this one just because it makes it a little more realistic, I think. Uh, and you can just kind of drive around, you can look back, all that kind of stuff. Just your normal stuff. Um, a lot of like, just stuff cluttered on the bottom of the screen. Like you can see your damage there, your tires, uh, what gear you're in, all that jazz. But what I really wanted to get in here was to just show you some gameplay and more importantly talk about uh, the driving rating system like for example that right there that would have put probably my sportsmanship rating down uh, one thing about this game too is that the AI aren't super great because this isn't like an AI oriented game it's pretty much only for online uh, so while you can have a little bit of fun with the AI once again I highly recommend the online experience because there's just not 
you know a ton to get from these AI so with that being said the driver rating system so there are two different categories there is the driver rating and there's the sportsmanship rating uh, both equally important and both completely different um, so the driver rating is a system where uh, you have to be just a good driver if you're consistently winning races and outperforming where you qualified so if you're like moving up in the race or or just gener generally finishing at the front of the pack uh, the higher you finish the better you're going to be so um well it does help to move up the field it helps much more if you're moving uh, very close to the front of the field and winning races that's how you're going to improve your driver rating uh, I'm still like I said getting the hang of this game I don't know that I've ever actually won an online race but I, I'm, I'm just learning I guess along with you guys so and then the sportsmanship rating is uh, how like cleanly you drive if you're not getting penalties and if you're not bumping into people you're going to be okay uh, it's all about clean overtaking. This game relies heavily on sportsmanship. As you guys probably know, uh, like NASCAR heat lobbies are like just nuts because it's all, everybody's just crashing. And while that can be fun, uh, it's nice to kind of get away and be able to just race cleanly against other people who race cleanly. And the beauty of the system is that if you don't race cleanly, you just get put against people who don't race cleanly. And you know that that is what it is that kind of sucks if you don't race cleanly but all these people that are racing cleanly uh all get to race together and the lobbies are really nice and everybody's a respectful and you know good competitive driver and you're usually matched with people at your skill level so you don't just get run over and that's the beauty of the car ranking system as well so the classes will all line up well with uh with the car that you're in so with that being said uh that was just some basic stuff on this game i hope you guys learned a little bit and i hope you guys go on to enjoy the game if you bought buy it uh with that being said this has been decaf dr thunder i hope you guys are all having a blessed and safe day if you guys could leave a like and subscribe to the channel that would absolutely make my day and i will catch you guys next time